If you're wanting to do a SEMrush traffic analysis for your own website or a competitor's website just to see where they're getting traffic from, how much traffic they're getting, all that, it's pretty straightforward. I'll just walk you through how to do it here. If you don't already have SEMrush, you'll need an account in order to use all, this, all these different features. So I'll leave a link below where you can get started with a trial and be able to use these different tools and see how this stuff works. So once you're in SEMrush, under the SEO portion like there's all these drop downs where you can expand out but under seo under the com com uh, competitive research almost said competition uh, there's traffic analytics if you click on traffic analytics then you'll just enter your domain name in here so we'll just do best buy as an example and then you'll click analyze now you can add up to five different competitors but we're going to do that here in a second so let's we need to hit the enter button after we type the domain name and then we can click analyze <laughs> and now we are going to see the whole traffic analytics breakdown of their website so they're getting about 1.52 million visits a month at least in february 2023 that's what they saw and unique visitors 79,000. so quite a few of these are repeat visitors and the average page visits there. So for each person that comes to the site, on average, they're visiting three pages and staying on the site for about nine minutes. And only about 50% of them are leaving the site before clicking through to a second page, which is the bounce rate. So all these are indicators of SEO performance. The more pages are visited and the longer someone stays on the site and the lower the bounce rate is, typically the higher the site or page is going to rank in Google because these are indications to Google that people are having a good experience with this website. Now, this is the entire website, right? So people are having a great experience with the website, but you can also look at these statistics on a page-by-page -page basis, like in Google Analytics, it might look familiar. But what's cool about this tool is, obviously, I don't own bestbuy.com. However, I can see what is almost exactly what's going on as if I had access to their Google Analytics, which is just awesome. <laughs> and if we want, in a second here, we'll start adding some competitors. We can even see, like, let's say, theoretically, we did own Best Buy. We could put some competitors in here and see what's going on. Um, but beyond these core analytics up here, we can see some trends, uh, like what's happening. This is by device, um, but what's happening over time. So before the holidays, obviously, there's a huge spike in people visiting Best Buy to buy stuff for the holidays, at least in the United States, which is here in a second. We'll see that's where most of the traffic is probably coming from. Uh, we got their top pages, so obviously their home page is going to be a huge page. And then this is where it gets really interesting, which is the traffic sources. We can ta we can change these two by type by year, but the the type of traffic that they're getting is extremely valuable so let's say we own a competitor office depot or something and we wanted to see like where is our competitor best buy getting all of their traffic from well it looks like a lot of it's actually from direct which means somebody's just going and typing in bestbuy.com hit, hitting enter or return on their keyboard and going directly to the website and shopping that's probably because they have a huge brand recognition at this point People know if you're in the United States and you want some fancy electronics, you can just go to Best Buy and you'll probably be able to find it, right? So that's probably why they're getting this huge spike in direct traffic, but they also got a big spike in search traffic as well. And then things sort of level off after the holidays and it's all pretty even after that. Now they are also doing some paid Google ads. You can see it says here Google ads and a little bit of social media, but mostly organic some referral as well but direct and organic are clearly their two i mean together those are 60 70 80 90 percent of their traffic so as a competitor we would think to ourselves all right well we need to probably do something that's going to outperform them so maybe we should just do a lot of referral stuff you know that's something that they're not capitalizing on and some social media because they're not capitalizing on that but having this data about what's actually happening with your competitor's website is super valuable. However, keep in mind that you're not going to be able to get this data for every single website out there. 
If your competitor has a very small amount of traffic, then it's going to be next to impossible to calculate any of this data. But if you're in uh, more competitive niches, then you're going to find that you're going to be able to see a lot of different data, almost as if you had access to their Google Analytics account, right? And then as I was saying before, we can see the breakdown of distribution from traffic through country as the source. And the United States is making up 90% of their traffic, with Canada being 2%. So obviously the holidays of the United States, like Christmas and stuff, are going to impact their traffic here. People are going to buy a bunch of stuff before the holidays for Christmas gifts. Um, and then there's some additional company info down here. And there's even more stuff that we can dig into in here, um, like just going more in depth about different subdomains, geo distribution. I won't go into too much depth about any of this. But the other thing I did want to show really quick is if, let's say we wanted to compare to, well, it's not showing up, Office Depot, which is probably their top competitor or one of the top competitors in the US, we can see it's a massive difference, right? Just the amount of traffic they're getting from search. It's about 10 times as much traffic. They're both getting most of their traffic from the US, but in general, Office Depot is not, not getting nearly as much from online sources in terms of website traffic as Best Buy. Um, and then we can you know, compare, clear these out, kind of do whatever we want to do to see the difference between our website and our competitor's website. And then you can start digging into some of this other stuff. Some of this you'll need to buy and, and kind of upgrade. So again, I won't go into too much depth about this, but that's basically how you would conduct SEMrush, a SEMrush traffic analysis. And if there's anything you did have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with your online marketing anymore <laughs> and you'd rather just hand it over and have somebody take care of it for you, or if you really just want to talk to somebody and get some pointers, um, let's connect. I do offer consulting. I have different, uh, services I can offer to help you grow your business through digital marketing. But yeah, feel free to check out my website. You can come on over to TravisWilkie.com. Here's how to spell it because it's kind of funky. Uh, but you can come check out some case studies, see the results I've been able to get for my clients over the years. And uh, if you're interested, we can connect. I'd love to help you out. If you can't tell, I love helping business owners grow, especially when it comes to digital marketing. So, all right, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.